Hey, what's up third graders? Today we're working on unbundling a 10 into the ones place and writing the equivalent number. All right, let's get started. All right, first let's look at a subtraction problem to show what we mean by unbundling. Here, if we look at the ones place, we have a one and we have a minus nine. Well, we can't take nine from one. So we have to unbundle or borrow from the tens place to get 10 more into the ones place. Now we can do 11 minus nine, which gives us two. Here's where the whole idea of unbundling comes from. If I have one 10, I can unbundle it into 10 ones. So we see 10 ones and one 10 are both equal to each other. And we can use that concept when we're subtracting. So all we're gonna do today is work on rewriting a number by unbundling a 10 into the ones place. So here I have 245. And I've modeled it with my base 10 blocks. We're going to unbundle 110 into 10 ones. So you see we took one of our 10 rods and turned it into 10 of our ones cubes. Now I see we only have three tens left, but now we have 15 ones. And by unbundling a 10 into 10 ones, we didn't change the value of this number. We just kind of changed how we're looking at the number. So that's why we call these equivalent because they're still represent the same number. All right, 382. First, we're gonna model it with our place value blocks. We have two ones, eight tens, and three hundreds. And now, we're gonna unbundle a 10 into 10 ones. So I'm gonna take one of my 10 rods, and I'm gonna unbundle it, or break it into 10 ones. Now I'm gonna look at what I have left. I have seven tens, and now I have 12 ones. So we just unbundled a 10 into the ones place and wrote the equivalent number. All right, last example. Let's do 410 and unbundle a 10 into the ones place. Let's see what happens. So we only have one 10 and four hundreds to start with. We're gonna take the one 10 we have and we're gonna unbundle it or break it apart into the 10 ones. So now we see we have no more tens left, so we're going to cross out the one, write a zero. But now we have ten ones left. So again, this process of unbundling or regrouping one ten and breaking it into ten ones is only used in subtraction. So this is an important skill for getting better at subtraction. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Created using Powtoon.